Hello everybody, it has been one long journey, I gotta say, but we have finally arrived in Ushuaia, the most southern point of the world. Oh, one thing to note when in Argentina is do not use your credit cards or debit cards. Cash is key, you have to use cash, uh, bring cash, American dollars, and use Western Union if you have to because your money will almost double at that point. But right now we're just grabbing some money in the airport and uh, gonna head downtown to find a place to stay. Guys, we did not book ahead of time. Also because it was a lot more expensive and we couldn't use our credit card. So yeah, uh, we're gonna jump in a taxi and see what we find. We're going on a, we're gonna go book an excursion right now that Roberto, the host, told us about where we can go on a boat and uh, go check out the penguins because now is the time when they start to go to Antarctica. So we really don't want to miss that. And apparently conditions yesterday were way too windy, so people were not allowed to go on the boat. And they are like that tomorrow. Tomorrow as well? Yeah. So we can't do that tomorrow. So today is literally our only <laughs> chance. <laughs> what? Your face when they tell you, like the wind and you understand that it was the wind. Oh man, that was <laughs> devastated. I was and like, then telling you there's no more penguins. <laughs> everything was just a turn for the worst. And there are penguins here. They're not gone. They're just starting to leave. They're, they're making their migration. So there is a good chance that we can see it. So yeah, grabbing some money so we can pay for our hotel and then go on that boat tour and hopefully eat some seafood later. We also got a recommendation for that uh, where the owner actually goes out fishing every morning and sells what he catches. But yeah, it's noon. We got to grab lunch and get to the port because the boat leaves at two o'clock. Well, we got to be there at two o'clock. We leave at 2.30. So I got my money. Thankfully, no problems there. I started walking back home and I took a wrong turn. <laughs> but now I think I made it to the actual road I was supposed to be on. But when I tell you, they gave me a fat stack of cash. Like, I've never seen this much money in my life. For example, fat stack. I didn't know what to do with it. I can't even hide it. It just sticks out of my shirt like a sore thumb. So it's just, might as well leave it in the open. The best things are hidden in plain sight. So, we thought we were going to be seeing the seals, lobos, and the penguins, but it turns out we're seeing just the penguins. The tour itself, we're starting from here. That's the seal island, so we do pass through it, which isn't bad. And I have my zoom lens on my camera, so we can probably see some. But we're going to continue all the way over here to see the penguins. So it's going to be three hours in total. It turns out that uh, this tour is actually going to be five and a half hours, not three like we originally thought and we're told. We also leave at three o'clock, not 2.30, but we're actually early, so we can actually pick up some more food because we're gonna die if we don't eat at this point. But uh, we're taking the big boat over there, the third one, Shui Explorer. And yeah, it's gonna be a great trip, just longer than we expected. Hopefully it's not too, too cold. Birds that look like penguins, but are not penguins. Birds and uh, those penguin looking birds, I can't remember the name of them. 
but that lighthouse was, uh, there's a book based off of, no, not based off of anything. There's a book called something Journey to the Center of the Earth, I believe it is. And that lighthouse was not the actual lighthouse that was referenced in the uh, the book itself, but it's another one that's close to here. And I think they call it called Staten, Staten, uh, Staten Island, Staten Lighthouse something. Uh, but most people think it's that one that we just saw, which is the one that's referred to as the end of the earth lighthouse. But it's not, it's actually another one that's 250 kilometers away from here. Uh, so I was wrong with what I said earlier. But nevertheless, it's still amazing. The lighthouse we actually saw was built in 1922, so it's 101 years old right now, by the uh, Argentinian Navy, and it's 70 kilometers away from shore. And it used to run off of, I think she said gasoline or petroleum, but now it runs off of solar power, and it's uh, fully automated. So, pretty sweet. And I still can't wait to see these penguins. They actually go to the south of Brazil for the winter. Uh, where? I'm not sure. It wasn't disclosed to us, but yeah, they don't go to the Arctic. Uh, so that's all we got today. And now I'll figure out what to do tomorrow. <laughs>